I've made a few projects before to make really crude theremins out of things like Arduinos and LEDs measuring light falling on them and using micro bits, uh, using tilt measurement of the accelerometer to make different pitch noises. Uh, I did one with scratch and micro bit as well. The spooky bat project uh, where you can tilt your micro bit, you make a bat fly up and down on the screen uh, and you make spooky noises according to how you tilt your micro bit. I thought I'd have a go at making a similar kind of crude musical instrument using one of these. This is an ultrasonic sound detector. These are really cheap. They cost about um, three or four pounds. Um, and they're you commonly found in things like Raspberry Pi robot projects. That's where this one came from. But you can just buy those really easily from electronic suppliers. Um, I've got a bit of a rat's nest of wiring here. And I'll explain why that is. Um, these require about five volts to run. And you only get three volts off a micro bit board. So I've got an extra battery pack here that is providing enough volts to make my uh, ultrasonic detector work. And I've also got a loudspeaker here, which is connected up to pins zero and ground so we can get some sound out so you can hear it. Uh, you could use a pair of headphones equally or any other any other kind of amplified speaker. And uh, the wires in the middle that are connected to pin one and pin two on the micro bit, these are the data pins. So these are connected to the trigger and the echo pins on the micro bit. And using the, using the sonar uh, blocks that you can add to Microsoft Make Code, uh, you can access these. And it's really, really simple to get the code running to make this project work. I've added a few more blocks that you'll see on the right hand side. These are just to mean that I can turn it on and off because it gets a bit annoying <laughs> after a while. So I've added some functionality so you can switch the thing on and off. Uh, but the main blocks that you see here on the left are the, are the only blocks you need to make this work. And what it does is it simply sends a pulse um, out of the trigger and it measures the time it takes for that to be reflected back to the um, return. And the time it takes gives you a sense of the distance involved. And what the program then does is it uses the ringtone block multiplied up by a bit so we get a sensible number that's in the sort of range of a good range of frequency in hertz for human hearing, for pitch, to make some sort of vaguely musical noise. We'll see how musical it is in a minute. So we multiply that by six uh, and send that uh, to the speaker using the ringtone block. So let's see if this works now. Oh, the other thing to point out as well, I've ha I've, you have to have a common ground. So we've got power here has got ground, um, but also you need ground to complete the circuit for the data pins on that. So I have got a little bit of jiggery pokery with some crocodile clips and uh, jumper wires here to make sure I've got a common ground between my power supply for the uh, sonar and the power supply, uh, the power supply for the sonar and the data as well. So they're all connected to a common ground back on the ground pin, which is why you see a few wires extra there. Right, let's see if this works. So I am going to turn this on. Hopefully, I'll turn the speaker up. Oh, we can hear a horrible noise. If I get a flat surface, works best with a flat surface. So if I put a card over it, it's got a very low pitch noise. And if I bring it up a little bit. screen you can't quite see it but you can see turn it off uh, you can see that me moving the card up and down in front of the uh, sonar the in, in front of the sonar is uh, is changing the pitch of the sound so that seems to work quite well um anyway codes on the screen uh, i'll put a link uh, on the blog as normal uh, to the code to the project in Mac code so you can open it up and try it yourself uh, plus of course a wiring diagram because the wiring uh, it, it's not complicated uh, it just looks like a bit of a, a rat's nest here um, if you can think of another use for one of these uh, sonar devices one of these ultrasonic distance detectors I'd love to know what other uses you could think of it uh, I can imagine you could do something for an interactive art project because this would be a really good way of detecting when people get close uh, to a display or an artwork and you could trigger stuff off and make other things happen so if you've got other things connected to your micro bit um, other lights for example neo pixels or something you could make something really exciting happen in terms of light or sound uh, when people approach uh, your display or your object or your artwork <laughs>